The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast. For they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, there is power of intercessory prayer. Some people asking, does our prayer answered? Does our intercessory prayers has power? Yes, has power. Even from a distance, Jesus' word was enough to save the royal official son. The father came to Jesus in search of his mercy and grace for his child. This showed the power of intercessory prayer. The father came to Jesus in search for his son. We can trust in Jesus to take care of us, to take care of our loved ones, and to take care of every other problem that seems, seems bigger than we are. We can abandon ourselves to the Father's providential love and care for us because God is good. We might not experience immediate answer or immediate healing, but no prayer ever goes unanswered. Its prayer is answered according to God's will. This is the highlight, according to God's will. Even when we do not know 
how to pray all that is necessary is to come to Jesus in faith just as the royal official did in this passage the father's faith in Christ saved his son faith is necessary for healing and salvation God's grace yes God's grace is the element at the work in healing and salvation but faith but our belief our belief in his grace is essential St. Paul once teaches us about this relationship between grace and faith he said for by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not your own doing it is the gift of God not a result of work so that no one may boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good work which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them Dear brothers and sisters, notice that we were created specially for the good work that God has prepared for each one of us. It is our duty and privilege to walk in these good works. This work, merely work, do not save us but work are proof of a faith that is fully alive so working with faith work is a proof St. James remind us what good is it my brothers if someone says he has faith but does not have work can that faith save him? So also, faith by itself, if it does not have work, is dead. That's why the royal official has faith, but he came to Jesus. This is his work. St. Teresa of Avila once wrote, Christ has no body now on earth but he has us so my dear brothers and sisters let us live in grace and walk in the good work that God has planned for each one of us Amen